we provide growth conditions for the cell through a technology called gas fermentation. You can compare that to wine making or beer making where you have a liquid uh, that has sugars typically, for example from grapes or, or similar. And typically, for example, wine making you add yeast to this sugars liquid and this yeast eats sugar for carbon and energy to grow and express some alcohol to the surrounding liquid. We do the same, but our microbe does not eat sugar, but it is hydrogen and carbon dioxide that we bubble in as gases in the fermenter. And that's where the very fundamental point is how to disconnect from agriculture. No agriculture feedstock is used. What is the problem in the current food system is that about one third of the climate impact is due to human action is due to what we eat and about 80% of that is due to animal production. So we need to uh, remove animal from the food supply system to a large extent. Uh, solely nutritionally similar to, to meat and meat-like products, dairy products or milk. Uh, and that is what, is what, what we want to replace. If we only account for the actual fermentation facility, its footprint to a uh, hectare of, of soy or similar, we need about 20,000 times less land compared to photosynthetic plants to produce the same amount of protein. It's very neutral, so it's kind of uh, umami. In some ways it is a bit like a uh, yeast extract. Or I would assume that if we would have like a lactic acid bacteria as a powder, so it would be pretty similar. It is yellow in color, so this color comes from beta carotene. So this is of course the, color, the same color that is in carrots. So I taste a little bit of carrots. This could be from, from ice cream and to yogurts and essentially to like a extruded a kind of meat bits, meat-like bits. So basically it could be from kind of a, uh, from sweet products like ice cream or yogurt or smoothies then to meat replacing products. And lift off. Got Okay, one out there.
Tori in orbit. Next up is European Space Agency astronaut Matthias Maurer. And NASA astronaut Raja Chari. What we are doing scientifically, what intrigues the mind is that uh, you can integrate this kind of food production to the life support system of the existing life support system uh, in, in spaceships. There are only a couple of things actually that are decisive for every uh, one of us uh, um, uh, carbon footprints. So how do you, what's the transportation mode you use? How do you heat your house and what you eat? And the eating part is of course something what we focus on.